Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another. Hey, I'm sorry, I just gotta ask. Do we? Caleb Williams looks great and DJ Moore has over 100 yards and two touchdowns. Yep, that's all for me. Have a great week, everybody. I'm going to cry. Hmm. Speaking of crying, Cleveland. No, 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 no. Deshaun Watson's gonna quit on his team when Stefanski wants to go for it on fourth down. Wait, really? No, but it sounds good. Right, flower guy? Oh, I already sent out multiple leaves spreading that rumor. But that's not right. That's politics, elf man. And just to confirm, the commanders win and you look terrible. Can Watson actually quit so I don't have to deal with this anymore? Nope, the streak of pain continues. Speaking of streaks, Jaguars. It's Trevor Lawrence's birthday. We haven't won a game this calendar year and the Colts haven't won in Jacksonville in 10 years. Please, let me hold on to something. Flacco throws for over 300 yards. You know, this is starting to get real personal, and I'm starting to suspect that you, but the Jaguars win, are the greatest scriptwriter I have ever seen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh my God, we won again, we won, we won, we won, we won, we won. And in other streaks, Broncos. We have cool jerseys, so we should. Bronco, speak up. We have cool jerseys, so we should win. Psh, that's not gonna work. Sounds good, Broncos win. Oh, thank God. You gotta be shitting me. We did it. I can't believe it. We finally won a game. Don't worry, kitty man. Maybe one day Trevor Lawrence will be good as Jaden Daniels. Same with me? Well, of course. Listen, I'm not a miracle worker. Hey, what about our game? You like the cookies again, right? No, Kirk Cousins throws for 509 yards and the Falcons win in overtime. It's because I added the cinnamon. I knew it! Stupid, stupid! Randy Orton? Mr. Bezos, it's Ted. We've done it. We finally have a good Thursday night game. Good for Ted. Who are all you people? Maybe I could help Buccaneers with... Flag? No, no flag. No flag? No. So even if penalty, no flag? No. Well, fine. You come crying to ref for flag? Maybe flag won't be there. Moving on. Wait a minute. Cookies? Jerseys? What the hell is going on? I mean, it just sounds like you're just making this up as you go along. And Josh Allen completes nine out of his 30 passes. What? Stefan Diggs is the leading receiver for Houston. No. And then, instead of going to overtime, the Bills are inside their own five-yard line, and they throw the ball three times in a row. Why would we do that? Maybe they're just making it up as they go along. So the Strouds get the ball back and kick the game-winning field goal. McDermott. No. Me. So, uh, is now a bad time to ask about our game? Figure it out. Oh, so we could do whatever we want? Sure. So theoretically, Lamar Jackson could stiff arm a guy, throw a touchdown, and we go into overtime. The Bengals miss their field goal attempt, and we hit ours and win? I do not care. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. They're going to hate Zach Taylor. Back to the script. There's a blocked field goal return for a touchdown in both the 49ers and Seahawks game. And they both lose. Ooh, can the Bengals miss their field goal because of a bad hold? Gonna miss lots of holds when there's no flag. Aaron Rodgers is seeing ghosts against Sam Darnold. Ooh, I wonder if he saw my grandpa. And to cap off the longest day in NFL history since 1970. That's every day as a Browns fan. The Cowboys and Steelers. Oh, also there's a weather delay for this game. It doesn't end until one o'clock in the morning. This is ridiculous. Sorry, I don't control the weather. He <laughs> politics. Dak throws two interceptions. What? On two different days. Huh? In the same game. This is absolute nonsense. I'd say it's history. Well, now you're just busting my balls. Actually, Jalen Tolbert sprains his... 
you know what? Never mind. Cowboys win. Wait, we do? Yep. Steal number one. Oh, sorry, I just... Okay, fine. 19 flag for this game. <laughs>